Hi, Sam from DRB Audio Visual, coming to you today with a brief vlog on the Epson 1470 UI. Uh, just touching on a couple of uh, key DRB beliefs. We believe that audio visual systems, uh, the simpler that we can make them, the better the utilisation will be. And we believe that uh, you can avoid complexity in these systems by better understanding the end users. Uh, actual needs. So just jumping right into it, this is intended to be quite short, uh, not a full tutorial on uh, what is a very complex product here behind me. So uh, this is the uh, 1470 UI, uh, in this instance uh, uh, mounted on a whiteboard as it most commonly is. Um, in this case here we've chosen to use a projection optimised whiteboard that you can see here. Uh, and it's a slim bezel board, uh, it's a very flat surface uh, which is quite important for these sort of projectors. Um, you know, if you're using an ultra short projector of any type and you've got it onto a surface uh, that isn't perfectly flat, then you'll have uh, you know, quite severe distortions uh, in the projection image. So the, the 1470 UI was originally known as the Meeting Mate. Epson actually intended this product as a business product and you know it's been out for a while now and actually uh, in, the, in the near future it will be uh, upgraded with uh, new models and uh, it was intended for, uh, for business but it actually found um, you know, good success in the education space as well so look this product has a lot of features um, and you know one of the things that we uh, try and do when we work with products like this is we try and understand what the client's needs really are and then we don't focus on all of the features because there is just complete overwhelm, especially here for the end user. So um, this is one of the opening splash screens. And you can see from here uh, that uh, there's, there's quite a lot that this system can do. Um, this is a touch cable projector. It does use Epson's uh, laser curtain technology. Um, so uh, it, it, it gives you a touch performance on what is otherwise a dumb whiteboard without the need to use any special pens. That said, it does come with two active pens. I'm not sure where the other one is right at the moment. Um, and you know, they have a little color designator. So you can actually have up to three people using the device at one time. Um, in terms of uh, a whiteboarding experience, so if we just jump into the whiteboard right here, uh, you can see it comes up uh, and you know you can have I think up to about a hundred inch screen size we're probably set about 85 or something at the moment we have this toolbar here um, which you can pull up on either side so if you're working on this side of the projector you can pull up from this side there's a lot of tools right here but it's deliberately designed to be fairly simple for what you might want straight away so um, as I say I don't want to go into a lot of detail today the pens here this is sort of skinny pen this is thicker pen so if I'm using my finger, you can see there's a skinny pen and there's a thicker one. And you know, a few different colors. Now you can, these are, you've got three colors directly selectable right here, right? You can jump into the pen and you know, you can change through more colors and more thicknesses. You know, you've got highlighting tools that are available right here. Um, you know, erasing tools, skinny arrays, and you can see that it sort of gives you an idea of where you're running out. It looks quite nice. Uh, you know, thicker, uh, whole page arrays. Uh, hopefully you can see all this okay. Um, you know, and then, you know, we go into more features, shapes, colours, all sorts of things like that. There's a lot of stuff. And we can bring backgrounds in. We can plug a USB uh, socket in. Indeed, this projector comes with... Uh, this sort of wall controller. Ignore this one here. Okay, this is a demonstration plate space. This is an older technology here, or it's an older model of the um, of the Joey control system. Still quite relevant. Uh, this product comes with this controller. Simple on and off power, changing source. It'll jump to the next active source. Uh, you know, jumping into whiteboard mode and a little USB socket here, which is quite handy because that's where you can take the USB. And if you want to save your notes afterwards, you can place it in there. Okay, or I can pull notes or photos off this. So, um, giving you a few more ideas on basic features, you can have multiple pages of notes. Okay, so uh, you know this is my page one here. If I want to add a page of notes, I can 
come down here, you can see down here I've now got two pages and I can jump between those pages. So I can be annotating. So I can be using this pen, I can be writing down my bullet points. You know, we can be adding to drawings, we can be bringing pictures in, I can be jumping back and forwards between my pages here, so I can go to my page 2, and we can be discussing here uh, specific points, okay, and then I can have additional pages, I'm not exactly certain what the page limit is, uh, I think it's memory dependent, it's certainly well beyond 50. Uh, you can have backgrounds that you can drop straight in, so if you're trying to, you can, you can have your own custom backgrounds. These are the default ones that come in here. But even if we're doing some sort of engineering discussion, you know, sometimes it's handy to have a little bit of a grid or something to work against. So, you know, these can be placed in uh, and you can use them uh, straight off the bat. So, you know, I can then just, you know, if I wanted to do some graphing, set my axis. Uh, it's been a while since I've you know, done the various parts of maths. I'm not sure if I'm even recalling this, uh, this graph correctly, but you get the idea. So, look, there's a lot more we can talk about here. We can talk about saving, we can talk about sending to email, we can talk about printing, you know, we can talk about split screen and sharing the screen between different inputs. Um, we can talk about sharing this screen uh, directly with other participants and users. Um, yeah, there's quite a lot more we can talk about, but really I wanted to keep it fairly brief. I wanted to really just have this be an introduction to the whiteboarding tools of this product. So uh, we'll probably leave it there today. Uh, on the way out, we may have a go at saving. So you can see it's showing my USB storage there. I can choose PDF, EWF, PNG, I can choose to encrypt it, save certain pages, not all the pages, save it off, and then I can take that off to my PC, um, email it to other colleagues, or put it on our LMS for the students. So look, you know, really quite a flexible product in terms of delivering um, a digital whiteboard canvas uh, across your existing whiteboard. Thanks very much.